Hey Hazel, where are you? I don't see you anywhere. You're supposed to clean my room at that time. Oh, Laura, I'm cleaning up the living room right now. Mr. White just had a meeting with staff there, so there are a lot of cups to wash. What do you need me to clean up? Oh, in the living room? Be careful lest you break that second precious ceramic vase. I won't be able to teleport to save you this time, like last time. Yes, oh my god, that time really scared the hell out of me. If it weren't for you, I would have had to pay a fine or worse, get fired. I have a sick old mother and a younger brother who has to go to school, so I can't lose this job. If it weren't for you, I really don't know what to do. Yes, yes. You own me for the rest of your life now, I know it. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> you can ask me anything you want. Are you sure? Then now it's the perfect time for you to repay me. Take your clothes off. Wait, what? <laughs> come on, come on. Take your maid uniform off. I don't understand what you were talking about. You want me to take my clothes off right here in the middle of the living room? I don't get it. You want to fire me or what? Oh no, I didn't mean right there. I mean, come into my room and change your clothes with me. Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean? You know that I'm being grounded, right? My father won't let me out of the house, but I need to go shopping with my friends for a while. It'll be easier if I wear it as a maid. So that's why I need your uniform, okay? Hurry up, come on, Hazel. I'm going to be late now. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there soon, but I need to finish cleaning up here first. But do you think this is okay? I'm a little worried. If Mr. White finds out, you and I will be in big trouble. Don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Just sit at your desk and pretend to do your homework. Put on your hood and everything will be fine. Besides, you know my father's habits. He never leaves his room when he's working. I'm not sure about this anymore, Laura. I feel like I'm betraying his trust in me. If you want to go out and play, why don't you just ask Mr. White to let you go? He loves you so much, I'm sure he'll say yes. Listen, I don't need you to tell me what to do. You're just an uneducated country bumpkin. You can't go to university like me. And yet you dare to lecture me like that? Don't talk too much. Just take off your clothes. Or do you want me to tell my father about his beloved antique vase? If I hadn't hidden that broken vase before my dad saw it, you would have worked for my family for free for the next 10 years to pay off the debt. No, no, please don't tell him about it. I'm so sorry. No? Then do as I say. Come here right now. I'm giving you a rare opportunity to experience a feeling that you may not have for the rest of your life. Don't you want to become a rich lady in those few hours? Yes, I got it. I'm coming. Where are you, Laura? It's been three hours. Why haven't you come back yet? Mr. White just entered the room to talk to you. We almost got caught. What? So did he find out anything? Aren't you too scared to confess everything to him? No, I didn't confess, but I was so scared I broke out in a cold sweat and started to shiver. He was there for quite a while and told me a lot about how much you mean to him. Well, it must have been boring stuff as usual. Don't worry, I'm almost done here. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Can you make it faster, Laura? I still have a lot of unfinished housework to do. Don't worry, I'm almost done here. One more thing, Laura. When I opened your bag to get your laptop, I found Mr. White's watch, which had gone missing a few days ago, along with a lot of cash. And where did you get so much money? Mr. White would never give you that much money, even though he loves you. He wouldn't spoil you like this. It's none of your business, Hazel. You're just a maid. You don't have the right to question your master like this. Um, but aren't you stealing from your father? So what if I am? He won't become poor. It's only a tenth of what he has. How could you do that? Through what he confided in me, I could feel that he loves you very much. If he finds out the truth, his heart would surely break. I get it. I know what you want, Hazel. When I come back, I will pay you handsomely. If you need money, you should have told me from the beginning. Why do you need so many words? Now just sit still or he'll find out. No, Laura, I don't want any dirty money. I understand you covered for me, but this is way too much. Mr. White should know the truth. 
Oh, come on, Hazel. You know that no one will believe you. Yeah, especially since you have no proof. Mr. White, sir, where are you? I have something very important to tell you. It concerns Laura and the watch you lost a few days ago. Oh, is that so? I was also looking to have a word with you as well. Are you going to confess that you are the one who stole my money and my watch? What? Sir, I don't understand. I, w I would never do something like that. Then how can you explain the camera footage of my office, showing someone dressed as a maid taking my money as soon as I left the house? I trusted you. How could you do this to me? Well, it's Laura. I... I know it sounds crazy, but she set me up. She convinced me to swap clothes with her so she could go out with her friend. I had no idea she was capable of stealing from you like this. I just found out and I was looking for you to tell you the truth. This is unbelievable. How dare you bring my daughter into this? No, sir, I swear I'm not lying. Laura just texted me and said that all her jewelry is missing. So I checked the security cameras in my house and saw the truth. Now I understand everything. Do you not only want to steal from my family, but also want to drive a wedge between me and my daughter? Now I know Laura was right. You can't trust the maids. Mr. White, please listen to me. Laura is the one who set me up. She's been stealing from you and using me as a cover-up. I have proof, sir. Please give me a chance to show you. I don't believe a word you're saying, Hazel. How do I know you're not just trying to save yourself from the trouble you caused? You were the one caught on camera stealing from me, not Laura. But sir, she manipulated me. She even threatened to get me deported if I didn't do as she said. And now she's probably out there enjoying the money she stole from you while I take all the blame. This is getting ridiculous. I trusted you, Hazel, and you betrayed me. I don't want to hear any more excuses. What? No, sir, please listen to me. I can prove it. Please give me a chance to show you the evidence. Enough. I trusted you, and you betrayed me. You're fired, and I'm calling the police. I'm sure they'll enjoy your story. No, sir, please don't do this. I didn't do anything wrong. It's Laura who's the thief. I don't want to hear any more of your lies, Hazel. You're done here. Sir, please, this is a huge misunderstanding. I never stole from you, I swear it. Get out of my sight, Hazel. You're lucky I'm not pressing charges against you. Hazel, where's my bag with the money? I need it right now to go buy a new car. I hid it so you wouldn't make any more mistakes. Well, I will tell them everything. And surely you'll have to pay for what you did. What, Hazel? And do you expect that they will believe you? The camera shows it's you. You're just a poor maid in a rich house. The first thing people think about you is that you are a thief. Even if you tell them where the bag is, it only proves that you are a thief, and you'll go to jail for a very long time. No, I can prove my innocence. <laughs> no, honey, you don't even have money for a lawyer. Then who's gonna take care of your mother and your brother, hmm? But now, I'll give you a chance. Just tell me where the bag is, and I'll find a way to distract the police for you to escape through the back door. Police? They're here already? Yes, Hazel, and they're looking for you. Tick tock, tick tock. Time's running out. Okay, fine. But you have to make sure that I can get out safely. Of course. Have I ever lied to you? Well, <laughs> except for switching clothes. <laughs> okay, well, I threw it out of your window from your room. It's outside. Oh, good girl. But what do we do now? The police have entered the house. Don't blame me. It's all because you hesitated. Well, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Oh, no, not again. Or, I have a better idea. You can go to the police and confess to them. My father is so benevolent. He won't sue you. You only have to stay in there for a few days, and then I'll find a way to bail you out and give you some money to treat your mother. Laura, I can't keep doing this. What you're doing is wrong, and I can't be a part of it anymore. I'm quitting. Right now. You're quitting? After all I've done for you? You'd be nothing without me. That's not true, Laura. You've been using me this whole time. 
and stealing from your own father. That's just despicable. You want to talk about morals? You're just a lowly maid. What do you know about anything? I may be a maid, but I have integrity and honesty. Something you seem to have forgotten. You think you can just walk away from this? I'll make sure you never work in this town again. And as for Mr. White, he'll never believe you over me. I'm his daughter, remember? I'm not afraid of you, Laura, and I won't let you intimidate me anymore. I have nothing to lose, but you do. Hmm. <sighs> What do you mean by that? I mean that your lies and deceit will catch up to you eventually, and when they do, you'll be left with nothing. You're just jealous of me, Hazel. You'll never be anything more than a maid. Once again, I may be a maid, but at least I have my integrity and self-respect. Something you seem to have lost a long time ago. Fine. Go ahead and good luck with making people believe you, but you'll never be able to escape the consequences of crossing me. Mark my words. Hazel, I was hoping you still had some self-respect left. The police told me you were hiding in the bathroom and wouldn't come out. They're asking if they can break down the door. You know that running away won't solve anything. Just admit your mistake honestly. Mr. White, please listen to me. I was in Laura's room when she took your money out of your study. I'm tired of your lying. I'm gonna tell them to break the door down. Wait, why would I steal? Well, I'm perfectly happy riding my rusty bicycle. What? What did you say? I said that I am perfectly content with what I have. I'm happy to ride my bike to work, and I'm grateful for my loved one's health. I never complain about my situation, and I always face difficulties with a positive outlook. I don't need a fancy car or a big house. I don't care about luxury designer clothes or an expensive education. There are more important things in life, like a new hospital, for example. You've always said that with all your money you could buy anything, but what really matters is making a difference in people's lives. We can use our lives to help others in unfortunate circumstances. Don't you agree, sir? How, how do you know about all of this? You told me these words yourself, sir. You were actually talking to Laura, but at that moment, I was pretending to be her. So everything you said was true. But are you sure it was Laura who took the money? I'm sorry to say that it's true. Laura herself confessed everything to me. I still have her message here. I, I don't know what to say. This is all so unexpected. I need some time to think about this. But why would Laura do something like this? She's my daughter. I raised her better than that. You did raise her well, sir. But sometimes even the best of us make mistakes. What's important now is that we help her to learn from her mistake and make amends. Maybe she's just lost her way, but I do know that she needs help. She needs to face the consequences of her actions and make things right. Maybe it's my fault for spoiling her too much and letting her spend too much money. Maybe now is the time for her to take responsibility for her misdeeds. I'll tell the police to take her to the station and let her stay there for a few days. I understand, Mr. White, but I think it's important that you hear what she has to say before making any rash decisions. Maybe there's a way to work things out without involving the police. You're right. I need to think about this. Thank you for being honest with me, Hazel. In the end, Mr. White decided that Laura needed to face the consequences of her actions. He gave her the punishment of being the maid for two months which would give her time to reflect on her mistake and learn the value of hard work and honesty. I was happy to see that Mr. White had listened to me and had made the right decision. I was also relieved that the truth was finally out and that I had been vindicated. After that, I continued to work hard for Mr. White and his family. In the following weeks, I saw a change in Laura. She became more responsible and mature, and she apologized for putting me in a difficult situation. I forgave Laura and was happy to see her grow and learn from her mistake. The incident brought me and Mr. White closer together and he began to see me in a new light. He said that he realized my honesty, loyalty, and positive attitude were invaluable qualities and he decided to give me a well-deserved promotion to work at his company. I was overjoyed and grateful for the opportunity to advance my career.